one of the things about woke is, Matt, can you explain it to your mom? Think about that. And I remember when President Trump was running, and he, this was before he won in, in 2016, he used to get standing ovations initially when he would say, political correctness is ruining our country. And everybody that was clapping knew exactly what he meant. But it's sort of like the Supreme Court definition of pornography. You know it when you see it. So the Democrats want to get you in an argument where you're having to define define wokeism as if the Webster's Dictionary is defining it. And that's not what it is. It is it, it, it could be a feeling. It could be a sense. And I wonder if Republicans or conservatives are going to have to define it more. She could be right. I wonder if conservatives are going to have to define the thing they keep bitching and complaining about. Crazy. Dana Perino is trying to give her own version of what woke is. And apparently it's just a feeling you get. And also, if you can explain it to your mother, little do they know, you don't have to explain it to your mother because my mother at least, because she was young when they were using the damn term pretty much recently to, uh, to, to discover and actually point out what it is we're seeing in front of us with our government, with our systems and how they have these biases against certain folks. But the certain folks who aren't affected by it have to have it explained to them or give really bad answers. Uh, and the 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 essence of that answer is if you get it, you get it. Maybe she look like this lady. I'm just gonna start off by saying like if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, like I honestly feel bad for you. Like I I cannot explain it. Like I don't have the vocabulary to sit here and explain like either you get the vibe or you don't get the vibe. A, tw a Twitter user put that up. I don't know who that lady is. Uh, Emily does, but apparently it's Dana Prina's alter ego. Uh, there's much more, Ben. I got to get you off the top on this, though. I mean, I have a feeling and a sense, too. I, I got a feeling and a sense that everybody on The Five and on Fox News more generally, and that criticizes woke culture, is full of. Sh oh, I wish. I wish that I could f complete the sentence. Shaving cream? Full of shaving cream, yeah, shaving yeah. cream and shoes, man. <laughs> I don't know, didn't also the five used to have a Democrat voice on there? Did they get rid of that voice because um, they're tired of hearing? I'm blanking on her name, they do have. Uh, she's actually pretty good in the purple dress right there off to the left. Um, no, the that's left. Kennedy. That's no, no, Kennedy. no, that's not good. She, she, she has the glasses like Kennedy. I'm blanking on her, I'm oh, just, okay. I apologize to her. I, know, I never blanked on her name okay, till now. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. But. But and she's wearing a purple dress to kind of say I, I'm Democrat, but I'm kind of in the middle. I'm kind of a purple <laughs> state vibe going on there. But it's amazing. Dana Perino went on in that clip to say I think her name is Jessica Tarlov. I'm being told right now, by the way. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't get that from my own head. That was thank you, Emily. I was also wearing a shirt that I own. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's important to mention. But uh, <laughs> Dana Perino went on in that clip to say that. Uh, and maybe, maybe she's right. Maybe we're gonna have to define the word eventually. I mean, they're just fighting defining the word. As you pointed out, JR, the perfect proof that they are just fighting culture wars to divide us and with no substantive meaning whatsoever is that they can't define the thing that they are railing against. It's like that anti-woke author who wrote a whole book on it last week and went on on uh on the news and straight up could not define it. Oh, this is hard to do in a 15 second soundbite. Well, then take your time. Well, it's hard to do in even longer. The point is, I don't know who I am anymore. Being woke is just being willing to be educated and made aware of injustices that used to exist, injustices that still exist, and being at all open to trying to correct that, to be sensitive to people who've had it harder than you might have had it. That's it. And, and the reason they can't define it is because they know what it means. They just don't want to because saying you're against that makes you sound like a 100%. Exactly. That's what I was just about to say, bro. So thank you. But the thing is now is if you say it, now you have to address it. You, it, it by the way, you know, Dana uh, talks about how, you know, how do we figure this out? I mean, how do you explain to your mom? There's a thing. Uh, it's the internet and there's plenty of people that have explained it to you. You just have to uh, accept it, maybe even look at it once. So if you're actually looking yes. for the definition, the Webster's de definition of it, look it up and see what people are saying. Educate yourself, learn and, something. The problem is the and, people that they would learn it from, they don't respect enough. And they're not gonna, they're not gonna do anything that involves learning or education. But yet again, it also proves just how empty these people's fights and how empty these culture wars at their core that are being pushed on us are. The other part of Dana Prino's statement, 
President Trump used to get standing ovations saying political correctness is ruining this country. Now we're making the bar of what our country should focus on based on what Trump gets a standing O on. He also got standing O's based on locker up. Should that divide the country too? It's just insanity. Political correctness and woke culture is ruining nothing except for all of the airtime that it is being forced upon us by these people making it the issue. The people that constantly claim that people on the left decry victim culture constantly and say we're victims, we're victims, or claim victim culture rather, are the ones that are the snowflakiest people in the world and get their feelings hurt by people needing to be a little more polite and a little bit more considerate to other groups. Oh, this is very hard for us. They're ruining America by making us actually be kind to others, by making us actually be aware that maybe it's not the perfect little Neverland that we always thought it was. Boo hoo. They're the softest people in the world. Grow a pair, my goodness. And they'd have to illustrate that if they actually talk about it.